Well, it's another Aloha Friday here, and it means ESPN Honolulu's Fan Friday Talk Story. And today, we don't just have one, we have two guests, and they're from the University of Hawaii Cheerleading Squad, and I'm joined here now by Carly, Shay, and Kat Koch. I hope I got it all correctly. And yeah. first of all, girls, thank you so much for taking the time to be a part of this episode. And I know that I'm catching you in a study room, so I thank you for taking time from studying as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Let's start with getting to know, obviously getting to know you a little bit. Kat, I, I noticed on your bio you're from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Yes. Why don't you give me a little bit about your hometown? Um, so I'm originally from New Jersey, which is really, really far from Hawaii. Um, kind of going, I guess, into my hometown. That's where my family's from. You know, I have a beautiful mom and I have two brothers and I've kind of just like, that's where I grew up for most of my life, and that's where I like did like cheerleading and stuff. But coming to Hawaii, I really wanted to escape like the cold weather and just like be in like one of like the most beautiful places on earth and not be freezing all the time while I'm doing what I love. <laughs> cheerleading. So yeah, that's kind of why I decided to come out here, even from being so far away from home. I mean, and I'm gonna go to Carly now, although you're not as far per se, but. You're from Cincinnati, Ohio. That's not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump either. Both of you guys got to take at least two flights just to get to your hometown. So, Carly, what's it like in Cincinnati? Yeah, um, Cincinnati's fun. I also I grew up in Cincinnati. Um, all my family's there. I have two sisters, Ashley and Kelly, and a great mom and dad. Um, so, you know, west side of Cincinnati, it's kind of small town, um, but I love it. Uh, but I do also love the warm weather and the culture here in Hawaii. So, much different, <laughs> but both good. When did you guys get started with cheerleading? Like, at what age? Um, for me, I started cheerleading kind of going from, like, kindergarten to first grade is when I first tried out for, like, my first, um, like, town competition team. And then from there, I've kind of been cheering ever since, and I've never really wanted to stop. So I, like, went through elementary school, middle school, high school, and then I got the opportunity to cheer in college, and it was just, like, a dream. <laughs> Wow. I mean, if you think about it, and what about you for you, Carly? When did you start? Yeah. Um, so both of my parents actually cheered in college. Um, really? Yeah, too, yeah. Well, my mom cheered at a bigger school, but my dad kind of, you know, not as big, but he still uh, tried. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so as soon as first grade hit, I just started and I loved it. So I always dreamed of being a college cheerleader. You know, because that's interesting because when you talk to a lot of you know, student athletes on the co collegiate level, you know, a lot of them didn't get started that young. So, you know, to have that long career, if you want to call it in the same, in the same sport, I mean, for cheerleading, is that common? A lot of you, like a lot of your other teammates started about the same age? Um, I would say like, uh, especially girls wise, I feel like a lot of us started around that age when we were like pretty young, but you started a much um, easier level. I would say like you just end up cheering for either like your school or the football team. Luckily my team, my town had a competition team. So that's where I started with, but usually you don't start with that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cheerleading kind of. I, I agree. Like, I feel like it kind of just depends. Um, and mm -hmm. there's like a lot of different aspects to cheerleading, I guess, mm -hmm. um, different, like paths you can take. So yeah, I think. Now, I've heard, I've heard both of you mention competition cheer. So I, I'm going to be quite honest. My knowledge of ch the cheerleading, you know, sport and that community is kind of limited. But I do know that there is competition cheering. And then I don't want to use a wrong term, but regular cheer. Is that a, about right? And if, if it's regular, what is that called compared to competition? If you can explain the, the different ones. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess like to brief, like kind of for Hawaii's case, um, normally we would compete at UCA nationals. Um, but then there's also like, we cheer for, you know, volleyball, football, and then basketball. Um, so yeah, if that helps at all. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like college cheer is different than sometimes, well, high school and college cheer for a lot of people is like similar. Like you'll do like a few competitions, but your main focus is like to cheer for the school and for to show your pride for the school. Mm -hmm, but then yeah. also there's like different outlets of cheerleading um, growing up. So 
besides like just for your town, there's like club cheerleading as well that people do. And that's like mainly competition. But like, at least what I've learned is that most of the fun aspects or like the funner parts of cheerleading involve like the school and being at the games and being involved with like the crowd and the fans and the students. And that was just something that was so like exciting or like special to me, especially being here and with like the fans here. It's just crazy. So yeah, like going off that all star cheer is a total like different kind of game, you know, um, but when you take your school and put pride into it, it's, it's so much fun. Yeah. See, and that's the part, right, where most of the public see you guys is at the games, right? They see that. So that's kind of the, what you're saying, uh, Kat, that's the fun, more fun stuff. Now, the competition is, I've seen that like on ESPN. So these, this is when you're doing the stunts, the choreography, um, the pyramids and flying off at the top and flips in the air. That would be the competition element. And you're being judged, right, compared to other schools and things like that. Yeah, that's definitely, like, the more – so, for most college teams, you do, like, one competition a year. And, like, yeah, that's definitely super fun as well. Like, don't get us wrong. Like, definitely a great part of being a college cheerleader. But it's also just amazing to, like, be at the games and be on the sidelines because usually what we try to do at competition is what we would do in front of our crowd here at UH. So, we try not to make it – there shouldn't really be, like, any type of jump because what we show to the fans here, like, the people that really appreciate us, is exactly what we would do at if yeah, we were to. For sure. And like our our main goal is like, you know, if we when we travel or when we go to perform, um, our goal is to, you know, show the whole world what Hawaii is about and uh, represent our state and university in the best way we can. We're here with Carly Shea and Kat Koch from the University of Hawaii Cheerleading Squad. Carly, what is the what is your guys' season? Like um, you know how because you guys have to actually cover an entire academic year, right? Where sports, there's a football season, blah, blah, blah. So what is your guys' quote-unquote season? Yeah, that's a good question. So um, for us, we'll start like uh, towards the end of summer, um, and then we'll practice, get ready for football. Um, we'll have our football games. Uh, once we get into like, yeah, more towards the, begin or the middle of fall, um, we'll start basketball. And volleyball and then that just kind of continues because we'll do boys and or sorry men's and women's basketball and volleyball now cat is all of you guys at every game so do you guys kind of break it up like um you know we just need eight and you guys kind of sign up eight for this basketball game next day basketball a different one is that kind of how you guys work it out um kind of so for football we all cheer at the football games because i think the lot more voices you have especially at football the better but then once we get to like other sports like um, basketball and volleyball, we'll usually separate up into groups just because just because it's like there's so many games and um, yeah, that's kind of how we do it. We just we separate into groups for those sports. So not everyone has to be at every game, even though sometimes, you know, but there's also times where we'll see like cheerleaders up in the stands and they'll like be cheering along with us to <laughs> still too, which is really cool. So you get like the bow. Okay, Carly, now I know you guys are so dedicated and you guys are in season from the beginning of the fall to the end of spring. Uh, so, but there must be some free time at some point in there. What do you like to do on your spare time, free time? No cheering, no game, nothing. What do you do? Yeah, I mean, I love cheering. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> um, I would say I love uh, riding my bike or, you know, just heading up the beach. Um, taking a walk on the beach, anything like that, um, just to enjoy the weather and the beautiful place that we live in every day. You know? And, and how about that. you, Kat? Um, for me, if there's no cheerleading, I'm usually studying. Um, that's usually what I'm always doing, is studying my room, like either around the island or like coffee shops. But some of my other, like, I guess things that I like to do besides studying would be definitely just taking time and seeing like the sunset. Um, that's something that's really special to me, especially being here and just being able to like take a break and just like watch like a beautiful sunset with palm trees because I didn't have that necessarily growing up. And it's just so nice and like such like a peaceful thing, especially for me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I never studied on my free time in college, so I give you guys care. By the way, so Carly, what's your major? Yeah, um, I'm a double major in communications and journalism, and I'm certificating in travel industry. Wow. And Kat? I'm actually a dance major, but I'm also on a pre-med track. 
So I'm taking all my dance classes as well as taking pre-med classes as well. How the heck do you guys cheer for all year and you guys have double majors? Wow, you guys are very, very organized. Oh, okay, look, what's the tip? This is Consider this like a, a workshop where you're giving uh, incoming freshman college students some tips on organization. So let's start with you, Carly. What would be one tip you'd give for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I would say surround yourself with the best people, um, <laughs> for sure, you know, keeping uh, your circle good um, to keep you motivated. But also, what helps me is I have a calendar and I write down my list of what I need to do the next day before that day. So like the night of before, I'll just like write down everything I need to get accomplished. And then that usually helps me and it's satisfying to like check off and stuff. And Kat, anything to add to that? Um, I don't know, kind of a, a lot which she said, definitely surround yourself with a good support system and a good group, as well as I have like a planner, like how she has calendar and my planner that I kind of write down everything that needs to get done, as well as kind of just enjoying the process or like loving what you do, because right now I get to do like both cheer and study and like do school. And those are like both things that I find really important and really like good for me. So I just, if I'm enjoying what I'm doing, it's doesn't necessarily well it still feels like work but yeah, I, after yeah. that okay I, I i apologize if i sound pretty dumb with this question and pretty regular but um do you have to be so positive to be a good cheerleader because you know like we're always i'm talking to you two guys now and you're always smiling you're laughing you're talking about studying as being a fun thing and you know all this kind of stuff but is, <laughs> is that like natural like at practice is everyone just having a great time even though if they're in pain and in agony and sweat and you know is that really true or is it really behind closed doors you guys are like oh i can't stand this is i'm tired or, you know what's the real is that really uh, true no i i don't think it it's definitely genuine um uh especially us. yeah <laughs> i feel like yeah um for sure like you know that's something that appealed to me when i was just checking out hawaii um you know everyone's so like literally living with aloha and it's so nice um because you know they have your back so yeah oh, that's, yeah, kind that's... Of even, yeah going off of that um I was thinking about like reasons why I like love Hawaii so much the other day. And I was just like writing down things that I was like thankful for. And one of the things I wrote down are like, people are generally nice here. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's just, it's a beautiful thing just to be like surrounded by such like positive people as well. Mm -hmm. I think like, that's who I am currently surrounded with, which is awesome. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to play a little game. Okay. No, I didn't tell you this because this is supposed to be a surprise. No, it's not high academics or anything like that. With our guests, I will ask you um, questions. And I, I usually give it a name related to the sport, but I couldn't come up with one for cheerleading. Um, uh, a quick – it's supposed to be where I ask you guys a question and just off the top of your head, what's your answer? So, you know, quick response kind of thing. So I don't know what, what would be in cheerleading comparable to, like, quick action or – a term used like in basketball i call it the fast break in volleyball i call it a quick set what could i call it for cheerleading quick jump no <laughs> quick spin i was thinking like me like i don't know fast. <laughs> like something fast or we'll, we'll come up with that we'll come up with that yeah yeah well, let, let, let's play okay so we'll go one at a time, we'll go Carly and then Kat. Okay, Carly and then Hat. Okay? okay, okay. So that. the Here question right. is, social media platform that you all are always on? Carly. Instagram. Kat. Instagram. Instagram. The most common thing people ask of you when they find out you're a cheerleader. Do you do flips? <laughs> Can you Kat. do a backflip right now? <laughs> really? Did you ever do that when someone asked you? Um, I've done it once. <laughs> I won't even ask where it could have been. Um, who can throw a t-shirt farther? Out of us or? Yeah, out of you too. Who's, who can throw the t-shirt farther? And you know what I'm getting at, right? Because at the games when they have the, the yeah. free stuff, you guys are coming out throwing. So who, if I'm further back, who would I want throwing? Is it going to be Kat or Carly? You know, I, I think it, it like pretty depends even on the match. technique. Yeah. 
<laughs> it, there's a lot of factors that go into it, like the weight of the t-shirt, as well as like how good my throwing arm's feeling that day, the nice underhand toss. Oh, okay. Oh, now you're getting technical. Okay. Um, let's go. Okay. So we're going to go Carly and Kat. TV series that you would want to binge watch or are binge watching? Oh, goodness. You got it. Um, I was going to say I like the news, but um, that's not really binge. Um, Friends. Okay. Yeah. All right. Kat? Grey's Anatomy or The Good Doctor. Ooh, I like those. I like those. Um, superhero power that you wish you had. Carly. To fly. Ah, Kat. Uh, to fly. <laughs> To fly. Well, you guys kind of do that sometimes in your stunts, right, yeah. right? There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the dessert that you could eat for five days straight, Carly. Mm, ice cream. Cat. Rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> what? Rainbow sprinkles. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. All right. On that vein, the food item entree that you could eat for five days straight, Carly. Um, pasta, maybe? I don't know. Okay, cat? Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, okay. <laughs> if money was no object, the car that you would be owning, Carly? A Jeep. What make? Um, oh, Wrangler. Right, okay. Uh, that Jeep is a make. Anyway, cat? Probably a black Escalade, but then I would give it to my mom because I know she wouldn't want that. <laughs> I don't know what I personally would want. <laughs> okay, hey, very generous of you. Um, give me something on your bucket item list, Carly. Mm, to visit all the continents. Okay, Kat? To become a sports medicine doctor here for UH Athletics. Ooh, all right. Yeah. Training all the injuries that you guys have all encountered in your careers. Uh, fixing all, okay. Um, Favorite movie, Carly? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Frozen. Frozen, okay. Cat? Hmm, favorite movie. I would have to go with Disney, Moana. Moana, got both Disney. I see the yeah. connection here. <laughs> if the two of you, this is a joint question, if the two of you had to go on America's Got Talent. There was not an option. You have to go on America's Got Talent. Okay. What type of talent would you use, Carly? Cheerleading. <laughs> I should have said take that out. Take cheerleading out. What, okay, what cheerleading out. Yeah. Okay. Yes, um, Carly. Mm, let's see. Mm. <laughs> I really don't know. Do you have an answer? Cat? I mean, I would say like dance. Okay. Oh, dance. and you're the well, dance major. I guess I should have so. taken dance out. But no, that's good. So dance for Cat, Carly. I don't know. I really. Carly, I feel like you could just go yeah, on and be like to make people smile. Yeah. Like I feel like that would be your talent. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just like just, I can make you smile that. in in less than three seconds. Literally giving compliments. <laughs> like <laughs> not to laugh. There you go. All right, look at you, the coach right there. And the final the final question is, what is something that your head coach Michael Baker says all the time? I would say mm -hmm. big time with a touch of mm -hmm. class. Is the first thing that comes yeah. to my mind. So, so what, what what does he say? I'm sorry. Big time with a touch of class. Big which time kind of with a touch of class. Of Ooh, that's a nice little slogan you can put on the wall there, huh? Yeah. Carly, anything else? Or? The first thing I'm thinking of is go bows. Go. <laughs> you walk in the door. Go bows. <laughs> when you're leaving, go bows. Oh, okay. Um, this was fun, and was, I'm glad you guys uh, were guests on our Fan Friday because you gave a little bit more insight into the cheerleading uh the schedule i think people don't realize how hard work you guys put in because you guys for one thing are all season all year long oh and last question when is the i guess entered in a competition i assume when is that coming um unfortunately we're not actually competing this year oh. just because of a bunch of different like circumstances that were like oh. not expected uh -huh. but luckily we will still be at all the games cheering on the bows so yeah. Catch us on the sidelines. Perfect. Looking forward to that.
All right, all right. Well, Carly Shea, Kat Koch, thank you both so much for representing the cheer team, but also being on ESPN Fan Friday's talk story. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. This is so fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh,